Blast Tech Industries E11 blaster rifle was the standard military issue blaster rifle for the Galactic Empire. The E11 is based on the DC-15 rifle that was used by the clone troopers during the Clone Wars. The clone troopers who were around for the weapon transition from the DC-15 to the E11 complained that the E11 was inferior to the DC-15. The E11 is powerful, lightweight, and fairly compact. The weapon is roughly 19 inches long with the buckstock folded in and around 26 inches in length when extended. The power cells side load to keep the E11's profile low. A plasma cartridge allows for over 500 shots and the more traditional Tabana gas power cells only get around 100 shots, depending on the settings. The barrel of the E11 produces a focused and powerful particle beam. The range can go as high as 300 meters, but the optimal range was really only about 100 meters or so. Users of the blasters can often choose not only from lethal and stun modes, but a variety of fire rates as well. By default, the weapon is a semi-automatic. A full auto setting is also available, but this mode greatly reduces the weapon's accuracy. The top rail of the weapon allows for a variety of sight attachments. The standard sight is a 2X digital scope. This this interfaces with the HUD in a Stormtrooper's helmet. The digital scope compensates dark, hazy, and smoky conditions. It also provides data on the weapon's current operational status. The blaster rifle has a second rail under the forward grip. This allowed for attachments such as projectile launchers that could fire grenades, flares, darts, and even grappling hooks. The E11 has other versions with the blaster rifle being the standard. The carbine version is very similar in construction and power supply. The carbine is lighter weight than the standard E11 and has a higher rate of fire. The drawbacks are that it's a more limited range and less stopping power. An improved Mark II came along during the later days of the Galactic Empire. The sniper rifle variant is very close to the standard. It has a farther zooming scope and a longer range, higher damage, but less shots per power pack and a slower rate of fire. A couple lesser known variations are the blast cannon and arc caster. The blast cannon sprayed energy bolts with each pull of the trigger and the arc blaster shoots electricity that would affect multiple targets if they were close enough together. Some more rare examples have popped up in Legends, but aside from one-off special use cases, there isn't much of a difference. In 14 ABY, the E11 was largely replaced by the E15 and E19 rifles. I always love the look of this weapon. After diving deeper, it seems like a great workhorse for the Imperial military. The DC-15 that preceded it has a slightly cooler design and, according to the experienced clone troopers, was an all-around better choice. Check out the channel for further transmissions on Imperial weaponry.